Hello everybody. Today we are going to see scheduling increment in SAP Gamma. So what is a scheduling increment? It's so called JIT. They call it as JIT. J-I-T. Just in time. So the material will come into the plant. Once it is getting into the plant, it directly goes to the production. Okay? No more they are going to do. They are not going to store it in storage location or in warehouse. That is what it is. Okay. It is one of the main concepts in supply chain management. Okay. Delivery from the vendor based on the dates. That is, this is also one of the main uh, main uh, point. Okay. If if they are asking today's date, if the company is uh, agreeing with today's date, vendor is agreeing with today's date, he has to send it only today. Okay. That is so-called scheduling agreement. They should not send it the day before. If they are sending it day before, the truck has to wait outside. That is what it is. Okay. If the agreement is today's date, then they have to supply only today. Okay. No stock storage of store in the storage location or in the warehouse that is what it is so th this is so called just in time okay so now let's go to the system so this is my live system go to me31l me31l Enter the vendor, enter agreement type LP. This is my vendor. Okay. Enter purchase organization double one double one purchasing group triple zero. Press enter. Okay. Enter validity end date. Validity end date is 15th of December. Press enter. Enter. Okay. Enter the material. Enter plan 1111 storage location 1111. See the storage location is a temporary storage location. Okay. Now enter target quantity, enter net price. And save it. Let me save this. Okay, this is my scheduling agreement number 555-00-0301. Now, let me come back. Go to ME38. Enter the agreement number. Double equal to this line item. Enter date. Today's date. I am going to give today's date. Today's date. Okay. So, now enter the quantity. 10 quantity. Save it. Let me take this and save it. Okay, now let's come back. Go to MI Jivo. We go. We go transaction. Enter goods receipt, purchase order. So I am entering the scheduling agreement date. Now item OK post. So today's date, document date, today's date, posting date, today's date. So 12th I have given, I am going to do GR on this day, today's date. So if the, if the vendor is sending yesterday, we will not be able to post it. So we will not be able to agree, agree with that. They have to stand, the, stand with the material outside. That is what it is. Scheduling agreement. It will not be stored in the storage location. Directly it will go to the production line. That is what it is. Now let me do invoice verification. Go to MIRO invoice verification. Enter date. 12. Select tax codes F1. Calculate tax. Enter 
scheduling agreement number enter the sum of 1680 1680 1680 with the tax enter baseline date select the baseline date Simulate and post. Go to post. Let me simulate this and post. Post. So I have done scheduling. Thank you. This is what we. This is how we do scheduling agreement in SAP system. Thank you. Thank you very much.